Hey everybody, welcome to today's guitar pass lesson. We are gonna do a quick pass on the classic uh, Bad to the Bone by George Thorogood and the Destroyers. They came out with this in 1982. Uh, you know, it's a very popular song. Uh, I just wanted to do, I, I, I wanna do this more as a quick pass, as just kind of a cool jam, a cool groove to kind of add fills. So it's great for beginners to kind of just get something cool sounding fairly easily. And you're gonna, um, and we're gonna add fills. We're gonna add a lot of cool little simple ideas to just start improvising and jamming with it, sitting back and just hanging out and coming up with different stuff. Uh, it's gonna really be great for your timing, and uh, it's just a, it's a fun one to play and uh, pretty easy to kind of get the general gist of it. So um, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, yeah, and we'll probably re it's a slide. He plays slide guitar on it. It's in the key of G. We're going to mimic a little bit of that, but down the road uh, when we do some slide lessons, we'll probably kind of revisit this and, and do it as a, a little slide groove for uh, just like this, but in a slide. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, have fun. Oh, hey, before we start this lesson, just want to let you know there's a 14-day free trial at guitarpass.com. A lot of cool guitar lesson content on there. Check out the description below. All right, back to the lesson. Okay, let's learn this main hook or groove. We're in the key of G. We're really gonna be working just with the fourth string and the third string, the D and the G. And we're gonna hit it open. We'll just do the moves real quick. And then I'm gonna take my first finger, I'm gonna bar uh, both strings, the fourth and the third, on the fifth fret. And just hit those. Open. And then on the third fret, do the same thing. Bar the fourth and third. So, uh, it's gonna kind of be like this. And then we're gonna mute it with our palm. You know, this part of the hand, you know, if you wanna practice just that, if you haven't done that before, just hit the open four and three and then mute it. That's kind of what we want. We want a nice choke it right there, nice and tight. So that's what we're going for. But let's add the, we're going to add a little bass in between uh, our rounds of that. It's going to be right here on the 6th string, 3rd fret, that's a G note. A little heartbeat there. And I got my palm kind of, you know, this is if I didn't have the palm. You know, and I can lift, you know, my palm and this finger are kind of muting and tightening up the sound. Real quick, if I hit it and then just lift it up the pressure, kept my finger on it, it chokes it, right? Well, I, that's what I'm doing with this. But with my palm as well on it, which is kind of resting for the song anyway, you're always gradually slightly lifting it and it's resting there, it's in that area. Kind of together gives you this. It's a feel thing, but kind of maybe just separately work on, lift up, you know, choking it, and then let's put it in the song. Yeah, so that's that now. Once in a while, I don't mute it everything that the G starts ringing out or something. D's and G's ringing out aren't a bad thing in this song. It kind of gives it this drony ring to it. But uh, try to keep it clean and tight. But if, see right there, it kind of act, actually kind of rang out a little bit, but that sounded kind of cool. So don't worry too much about that. But just get that, that's the main riff. And then let's have fun just putting fills in between all that. All right, now that we have that main groove, let's add some fills. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Between every one, instead of that, we can, you know, we're going to basically replace that bass note there, that little section, with some cool lead stuff and some different fills, and there's a few of them. So uh, the first one I want to talk about is uh, going down here and, and basically on the 12th fret, barring that 4 and 3 again. And that's a G. That's kind of, you know, it's kind of like a 
bar chord thing here with that's G, and it's also this, an octave higher than open four and three. And again, when we do a slide version of this down the road, we'll really be able to really add some cool stuff with that. But we're gonna mimic it with this. So. And I like to let those op last open ones ring out. So. And I, I'm just, you know, hitting that three times. So you got to fit things in. We're going to have tools and things to do, little patterns and little things that work, but it's all about putting the rhythm in the time, in that frame, the window of time that we have. So, you know, if I was doing it, That's an option. Now, one thing we might do is mimic the slide, because he's playing slide on us, is it's a little bit hard to do if you haven't done a lot of slides, but basically we're just gonna start a whole step flat, so two frets behind our location that we wanna end up in. Again, just four and three, but we're sliding, we're hitting it and sliding. Now, if you haven't done this, just hit it strong, and you know, know your destination strong, where you start, hit it strong and slide to that and hit that destination strong while pressing down. Maybe try it on single strings if you haven't done this before, but. So. So we got one, dun dun. Oh, excuse me. Let that ring. So you can alternate and throw that in whenever you want. Yeah, so that's a cool little thing to add there. All right, the next fill thing is something we actually did in a quick pass before where we were doing some G stuff where we had these two strings and we're doing kind of just little licks here on the fourth string open and third fret and then same thing on the third string right I can hand, I can do this on the fourth and then hit it open third all these ringy open G's we're in the key of G right I can hit it and go You know, can I put my thumb up here to give me some leverage? Just kind of play around with that so you can get that. All these little combinations. So make up your own. I'm going to play a few rounds to kind of see. I think there's a couple we'll probably see that work really good. Get your groove on. Here we go. So, so da 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 call and response kind of thing. That sounds really cool. Open G. Really cool. Make up your own. Right, you can bring that into it.
you know, mess around with that a little bit. There's a just kind of it's fun to just we're just noodling around and kind of sketching around. This is like doodling. We're just there's a our form, but now we're just kind of messing around with stuff to to have a little fun with it and uh, hang out and do a cool groove. So nothing's right or wrong, but you know, just get your timing right into it and the feel. But uh, really, just um, play around with all that and make up your own combinations. Okay, so another thing to look at is uh, I'm going to find the G on the second string right here on the eighth fret. That is a G. So, and we're going to have a little pattern that we can work with some notes with this for our fills as well. So, if but right now I'm just going to do the let's hear how it sounds just with that G. It sounds kind of cool. You know, I'm kind of doing the vibrato. I'm pressing down and wiggling. Get that sound. Just work on that. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of sliding, whether it's a whole step or a half step. You know, uh, we got to settle on something, I guess, right? You know, I like doing the whole step. Or don't have to slide. Again, it's just a, it just sounds cool like that. I like the vibrato, though. Right, so that location, now, whenever I have a root note, this G, finger per fret, where my pinky is. Now, whether I use my pinky, I'll probably bring my first finger down here. This is the 11th fret, second string. We're just gonna stay on the second string. Maybe I'll use my third finger. It's my first and third are the strong ones. That's a flatted third, that sounds cool. Right? Whoops. And the other thing you can do is also do the flatted seventh. So anytime you have your root note, you go a, f a whole step flat, which is two frets. That is a flatted seventh. It's an F in this situation. And then G, key of G. But really, all you need to know is my root note, and then if I go finger per fret, and I go on my where my pinky location is, which is a flatted third, and then my whole step flat here. Those are all cool sounding stuff. Then maybe I'll do this, right? See, I can just combine that and they all sound cool. Those are the thirds and the sevenths are big, cool sounding stuff. So any root note, you can do that pattern in any key. It's pretty cool, but we're doing G here, so, so we're working with that. Now real quick, you can find that anywhere. Here's G, kind of like uh, if you ever done this pattern. Well, that's the flatted third right there. This is the same thing we were doing here, but now on the first string now in this location, on the third fret, and then sixth fret, three, and then our flatted seventh is right there on the first. So I can do stuff there. Kind of gives you some different colors. Back to other stuff. You know, you got it right here, here's G. Right, pretty cool. So find other G's. Here's one, two. And just kind of throw it in there and kind of get some stuff that work. You know, this. And then. That's a cool call and response. Right, so throw that into all your variations and combine them. All right, and then. Uh, we can end, uh, I want to do like a cool little thing to break up the groove, which so it's like a turnaround in a way. It's just this little move that I could throw in any time I want in the jam, just to break it up a little bit. It also works as a great ending. 
Um, you know, what it is, it's a, I'm gonna do, it's on the fourth string here. I'm gonna, we'll just do it with our third finger for now. You can use any fingers, but uh, there's a couple different ways of doing the fingers that are advantageous in different situations. So we're gonna do this one. Basically, we're gonna hit, just kind of walk up, walk down to that, all on the fourth string. But now I'm gonna add the open G to each one. Open on both on the last one. Give it a little skip there. Can also do a variation of that. Where I'm going four, three, I'm picking four, three, and four. Whoops, screwed that up at the end there. That's pretty cool. Again, I was doing it fast, just do it nice and slow. Make sure you're on the tips of your fingers. If you're bumping in there, that means you gotta curl up a little bit and get on the tips. And now, sometimes I like to use my second finger and slide into that. And then do my first finger there. Slide, and then second finger here, and then first here. So it's a variation, so I'm doing it. Anytime I want to do this, do it du once, double it up, Var do the variations. Back at it. So when I end it, maybe I go bar these two, those two and the one, just end it. Or I can go. That's a neat little thing, so. Cool little ending. Uh, so that's one way to end it and also to break up the, the groove. So uh, let's kind of jam it a little bit and uh, show you some stuff. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick playthrough so you can just get the idea of the whole picture. You know, so just mix it up. That's a little idea of mixing everything up and just hanging out and trying different things.
more. Well, one more now. Do it again. Hey, thanks for checking out that lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, if you did, hit that subscribe button. We got a lot more coming to the channel. And uh, don't forget, you know, we got that 14-day free trial at guitarpass.com. See you next time.